Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? So today I wanted to play a game called Who's the Baby Daddy? So something that I thought of while I was doing an offline 100 baby challenge just to pass the time and I was like, you know, some of these I probably would have been able to guess who the dad was but other times maybe not. So this is just first part of a potential series, we'll see. What I am going to do is show you guys what my mother sim is, looks like so that way you can kind of see where she gets some of her traits from or some of her genetics and then I'm going to show you a sim from toddler, child, teenage, adult and then see if you guys are able to guess who the father is. I think it'll be a lot of fun. If this is something that ends up getting a little traction, um, I might do more. We'll see. And you guys can definitely put your guesses down below on who you think the dad is before I reveal who it is. All the dad sims are those that are already found in game. So it's going to be someone either from the goth family, um, like pancakes. It can be expansion packs too. So any sims that came in the game when it first installed, those are going to be the potential pool of dads. So let's dive on in and I'm super excited. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe if you like the content that I put out. And if you do end up liking this video, don't forget to give it a good thumbs up. Let's get on in. All right, guys. So this is Melinda. This is my beginning sim. I think she's absolutely adorable if you want to see her without the skin overlay real quick this is her without we'll leave that so that way you can see a little bit more but I just I'm in love with her she's so adorable so this is Melinda this is the mom so let's first look at Randy now Randy and Clara they are twins but if I click over Clara that's gonna automatically reduce the pool of potential dads so we're gonna start with Randy first so this little Randy it's really hard with toddlers because you can't like you you have no idea what they're gonna look like when they grow up but it never hurts to look at a couple toddlers they're pretty cute so let's age Randy up to a child let's take those glasses off and this is Randy as a child without any accessories what are you guys thinking so far Anything from the face giving it away? Anything at all? I can see a little bit, but I already know who the dad is, so that might be why I can see a little bit. Anything giving it away quite yet? Let's go into teen. Those eyelashes need to change. Those are still awful, but whatever. But this is Randy. Any, any idea yet? On who Randy is? Any idea yet who the baby daddy is? I even kind of see it from here, but not really. But let's keep going. A lot of times I didn't think actually going from a teen to a young adult would make a huge difference until I aged one of my teens up and I was like, oh, I could 100% see who your dad is now that you've aged up to a young adult. So let's do that. I definitely think he's not bad looking. You know, like the eyes are a little small, like these eyes right here are a little small. Like his pupils and his actual like iris. But overall, he's not a bad looking dude. He's not bad looking. Now, like I said, Randy and Clara are twins. But when I go to Clara, it's gonna automatically, like you're gonna have a better idea of who dad is. So we're gonna wait. I'm gonna give you guys a quick second to see if you can get an idea of who Randy's dad might be. Who is the baby daddy? Let's go into Clara now. Now, after seeing that she's a vampire, does this help at all? Because this literally limits it down to, I believe, two. So you have a 50-50 chance. But Clara, guys, I think she's adorable. Now, she doesn't really have much of a chin. I don't know how because mom has a huge chin. Not a huge chin, but she has a very, very, like, distinct chin. There's Clara without a chin, but she is adorable aged up. So this is Clara as a little toddler. 
and then add a child. Isn't she so cute? Again, no chin, but that's okay. We can work with that. I just think she's adorable. And look, her irises are bigger. Like, can you give some of that to your brother? But isn't she just like, besides the chin, guys, isn't she like super cute? Like, I actually kind of love her. I have her saved as a separate family so that way I could play with her in the future because I think she's adorable. Like, isn't she so cute? Like, she's the cutest little vampire. She just gives me like the sweet vibes. And then there she is as an adult. She just gives me super sweet, super like, I just want to be a good little vampire vibes and maybe not even want to be a vampire at all. So we got Randy and we have Clara who are twins. Now, knowing that she's a vampire and seeing her a little bit more, who do you think dad is? I'll give you a couple seconds. And the dad is Caleb. So if you guessed it, Caleb is the dad. He does have some really good genetics. Like, she is freaking adorable. He's decent. So, baby daddy number two. Let's see who that is. So, we got Clayton over here. He has these adorable green eyes, tan skin. He's just super cute. And again, toddlers, you can hardly tell what they're going to look like because they're toddlers. So, let's age Clayton up to a child. So this is Clayton right here. Anyone able to guess who the dad is at this point? Any idea? I just love the green eyes. I love the CC on him. Now let's go into teen. Does this help anyone? This is probably one of the better looking male sims that has come out of my offline series. He looks pretty good. You got green eyes, really good features. Like this is a teen, pretty good looking teen, but let's get Clayton into a young adult. And this is him right here. So you can see from teen to young adult, his face got a little bit longer and he got those dimples. Now do those dimples help you guys with anything? Does it help you figure out who Clayton's dad may be? I'm going to give you guys a couple of seconds, maybe think on it. The father of Clayton is Don, Don Lutario, Lucario, Lu Lucario, that's a Pokemon, Don Lutario, that is the dad. Don has some really good genetics, I know we all hate him, he's a womanizer, but he makes some beautiful babies. Like Clayton, I will probably use in the future in another game because he's just a cutie. He has some really strong facial features. So first we got Caleb, then we have Dawn. Let's see who baby daddy number three is going to be. All right, baby number three is Devin. He's a cute little stunner. Uh, I hope the chin uh, gets better, I can't remember. But he's a little cutie pie with his little toddler outfit. And then when we age him up to a toddler, you can definitely see he grows into his face a little bit more. He's definitely a different looking sim than I normally have for males. So I kept him for that reason too. Now this is Devin as a teen. You can see how things have changed and how his facial features have changed. Does this help you guys out at all? Like, are you guys able to pick up on who the dad is quite yet? Again, we're gonna go to young adult, and you can see how he changed from a teen to a young adult. And now, does this help you guys out at all? This is one where I would not have been able to guess because I don't know this expansion pack Sims as well. Um, I know a couple, but not all of them. So I'll give you guys a couple more seconds to see if you can guess who the dad is. Baby daddy number three, the father of Devin, is Salem from City Living. 
so that is the father of Devin. So we had Caleb who produced Randy and Clara. Freaking love her. Then we have Clayton whose father is Don. And then we have Devin whose father is Salem. This honestly has been so much fun. One, doing the offline baby challenge because I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to worry about recording or anything like that. And two, I just think it's really cool for you guys to see genetics wise what's carried over and that kind of stuff. If you guys want me to do more of this, let me know. Or if you want me to do a series where I have like a starter sim and then I put the pre-made into the family and then I do random genetics and we can see what their child looks like. That's another thing that I could do as well. Just let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you did like this, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you got the guesses right and what you guys think of this all. And I hope you guys are staying safe wherever you are in this world. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.